Hello and welcome to another training video. In this video, I want to give you an introduction to a new tool I've been using with Asana to connect my Asana account to other platforms and other accounts, which is Unito. Now, what is Unito first of all? And let me explain why you might need a tool like this. So perhaps you have a, a larger team and your team uses multiple platforms or services to manage its work. Maybe you use Trello and Asana, or maybe your development team uses Jira, maybe you have HubSpot spot and a CRM, whatever, your, whatever you do, whatever your team, um, whatever systems your team uses, chances are you may use a variety of tools to manage your workload and to manage your team. Unito lets you connect these different tools together. So when an update happens in one place, you can actually share that information in the other platforms and tools that you use. So good examples of this would be, like I said before, if you have different departments in your team using different tools, let's say you have a development team that uses Jira, maybe your marketing team uses something like Asana. If your marketing team needs to have visibility of that development work, you could use Unito to connect those two services together. Or in my case, and this is where I really, um, this is really when the penny dropped for me in terms of using Unito, Unito, is for clients. So for example, let's say you do a lot of client work, maybe your client uses something like Trello, uh, maybe you like using Asana like me, or in my case, actually, I'm currently working with a client and they've invited me to their Asana account. And this, this actually presents a whole range of problems because now I have multiple Asana accounts to be checking, my own account, this client, I've got multiple clients that I'm working with, and so it's multiple task lists, multiple inboxes I need to be checking, and it just makes managing my work a lot harder. So that's where a tool like Unito can come in. So what I can do is I can actually set up a connection between two different services. So if you look here, I'll actually show you the connection that I've already created. Or well, let's, uh, let's start a brand new one. So here's the connection that I already have. If I'm gonna add a brand new connection, let's uh, add a new sync. And so what I can do here is I, I select um, the two different tools that I want to sync. So I've actually connected two different accounts. Um, my, my Asana account, Paul Miner, as you can see here, and I've actually connected a bot account, which I've called Jarvis, and I've actually taken inspiration from Iron Man for, call, for, that, for my bot account. Um, but the reason I'm using a bot account here is that when I sync updates back into Asana, I have the bot account actually posting those updates. That means that I actually get those notifications in my inbox. So I'll show you that in a little bit. So let's just set up this connection. So yeah, I'm gonna use the bot account, so Asana by Jar via Jarvis. And I'm gonna choose in this, in this case, the, um, the name of the project that I want to sync uh, my tasks into. So here I've already got a project in my account called .com Design. So this is just the name of my client. And then over here I select, what is the other service that you want to sync to? So now I thought these are just Asana accounts that I've connected so far. I can connect any of these other accounts. So Basecamp, Bitbucket, Trello, Rike, uh, Jira, there's loads of different services you can connect with. I'm actually just gonna connect with another Asana account. And if I start typing Asana Pipedrive Consulting, I'm gonna search for the name of the project in my client's account. So we'll give that a minute to find to find that other project. So here we go, I can see the project, this is the one, I can see the workspace here, this is the client's organization, and this is the project that I want to sync to. And then finally I can select what kind of sync do I want. Do I want like a one-way sync from the client's account to my own, and I don't want to sync back the other way? In this case I actually want to set up a two-way sync. Uh, I think that's probably the most common um, type of sync that you will want to set up, so that as updates are made on either end, they will be reflected in each account. So I've, I've got to set up a two-way sync there and click next. When you are setting up your sync as well, you do have the option to set up um, filters as well. So maybe you don't want all tasks to sync across. You could have filters, for example, only tasks assigned to certain people or with certain tags in certain sections and columns could sync as well. So you don't have to sync an entire project. You could be more selective with what you choose to sync uh, across. There is an option to include closed tasks. In other words, tasks that have already been marked as complete as well. You probably won't need to use these settings, but there is an option to um, map different fields. So um, with Asana, it's very straightforward. You can see all the field mapping is already done. I haven't touched any of this. So it's mapping things like the assignee to the assignee. And most of the time when you're setting up a new sync, it's pretty straightforward. The mapping is done for you, but you can check things. So maybe you want to map the assignee to a different field. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but you can check the mapping in these settings as well. 
And so then once you're ready to go, you can save and start your initial sync, which uh, will take perhaps a little bit of time depending on the number of tasks that are being synced. And then it's very much just like a set and forget service. You can just leave it running in the background. So to give you an example of how this works, let's uh, go into, this is my client project here. Let's add this test task. Actually, I'll put this up into the Asana section up here and I'll just put some notes in here. Uh, let's assign this to Paul and say it's due today. Uh, I'll give Unito a, a few minutes to sync that across. Or I can actually click this button to sync it right now um, and, and kind of force the sync even quicker. I mean, it will sync on its own, but um, I'm going to click that now. And so now I can actually see in my inbox, uh, this is in my own Asana account now, I can see that this test, ta test task has come across. I can see it's assigned to me, the due date's there, the text. And you can see here, this is why I've chosen to use a bot account for adding the task to my own account, uh, because I get notified that Jarvis has created this task. If I was just using my own Asana account, I wouldn't get the notifications here in my inbox. Um, and so with most of the services that you may want to sync with Unito, you'll probably want to set up a bot account so that it's not you creating the tasks for yourself, it's like a bot creating them for you so that you get those notifications. And then when you get um, things like comments on tasks as well, let's look at like this one. You can see here Jar uh, Jarvis the bot posts the comment, but it actually puts in the comment like the real, the actual person that's commenting here. So Josh Kruger has commented, I've just sent you the invite. So even though it's not the bot that's actually making the comment, the comment is coming via the bot to my account because obviously the client in this case isn't actually part of my account, so it's not going to show up from him. And so this is great. I can be um, working in my own account. I don't have to check multiple Asana accounts each day. I can just work in my own Asana account and I can comment back here. So let's post a comment and I'll give that a few minutes and uh, Unito will sync that comment back to the other Asana account. And so if I flick back to my uh, client's account now, you can see there, there's that, that comment that I just posted. And that's actually come from me, even though I have posted it from my main account, because I'm also part of this client's account, it's actually come from me as well. So the client doesn't even know that I'm actually syncing my two accounts together. And so using this service, it's a great way to keep your teams or yourself and your client uh, completely up to date and in sync in terms of the status of different projects. It means that if you're working with clients or different departments, you don't have to learn multiple tools. If you prefer to use Asana, but your client likes Trello, you can actually connect the two services together. And it means reduced cost as well, because you're not having to sign up your team or, or yourself to multiple services as well. So I highly recommend Unito if you are using Asana and you need to keep it in sync with other systems like Trello, uh, Jira, there are a number of connections available. I'd highly recommend signing up, give the free trial a go and I think you'll find that it's actually very easy to set up. There's no technical skill or development work required and uh, I've been very pleasantly surprised in the uh, short time that I've been using it. So please let me know if you have any questions about Asana or Unito. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.